morning, this is Connie over with Chevy Lee and Still Glamorous. Well, I thought I'd uh, start you from the beginning of my hair that I'm fixing. And so this is what I did. I took two thin sections here, pinned them out of the way. Then I took a little section right here on top because that's where I'm going to build up my height. And then another small section here, I pinned up and got out of the way. Afterwards, then I took the sides uh, here and put them together. Then I took that second piece of hair that I had up here, clump, and I put it over my uh, little ponytail because I've got layers. I think that's the short part right there. You can see it right there. Let me get a hand there. Okay, that's my short ponytail that I put together. Oh, I forgot I put a bigger hairpiece underneath before I started gathering everything together. Now what I ended up with was that little ponytail right here, like I said, because I've got a layer and I uh, had those four little pieces of, hold on, those four little pieces. So I put them on top of the ponytail. I even have one right on that little ponytail. So I wouldn't have a short one, a short one uh, showing. You got it? So a little ponytail is pretty covered up. The big ones underneath here that goes from here to here, and then the four little ones are one, two, and three, and one right on top of that little ponytail. So now I'm going to take my first little section of hair and tease it up. Let's see. I'll go get my hairspray and stuff. Okay, so I sliced that last section in half. I'm going to tease that. Tease that. Get any little stragglies over here. Put my glasses up so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I took my smaller curly knife and curled my bangs. Got a long piece in there, so let me get that out of the way. There, here we go. So, good morning, good morning. It's nice to see you. Good morning, good morning to you. Okay. Da, da, da. Get them out of the way for a second. Oops. Now, I'll just put this here wherever it's going to look the best. Come on, baby. Come on. The girls are all having a good morning and uh, working its way into a good day. Okay, here we go. That'll have to do. I don't think I'm going anywhere. So I want to go pick up my uh, uh, washing clothes, soap. 
liquid washing soap that I buy you know where 99 cent store hey by the way I heard Payless is closing their doors yeah wow I'm telling you things are happening out there girls I could have curled that under a little bit. I didn't get the curling iron. Let's see what I'm going to do here. I just want to get it to go underneath. Anything's better than the way it was. What it look like had I started the video a later. Okay, so here's what the side looks like. It's nice and full to me. No flat spots. And in the back. Gets my little clumpy, but that's okay. It's good enough for me. All right. Now I want to actually cover it up more. I just put a clip up there. And there you have it. Again. Well, my sister's here. Uh, she's in the room with my mom while my mom is having a meal and stuff. And uh, I've got other things to share with you, but I don't know if I'm going to do it now or when she leaves. Got to play by ear. And I filled in that ball spot with a little of my black eyeshadow. On the way to my mom's bedroom. My, si my sister bought some nice flowers for my mom. <laughs> and my twin bought me some chocolates and some strawberries covered in chocolate too. <clears throat> so my mom and I will enjoy these. Okay, so my twin went home. Uh, did I mention that she had to go to an emergency today? I didn't look back at the video. Uh, she calls me and she says, I gotta go to emergency. I said, what's wrong? She goes, I don't know. I just started getting all red and, and whew, feeling really hot. And I said, oh, that happened to me one time. She says, well, what did you eat? I said, well, actually, uh, Paul's sister had given me some vitamins and evidently they were too potent for me. And I took one and whew, it was like getting one of those B12 shots that we used to get when we were pregnant with our babies because we get so tiny he would make sure we got a B shot once a month just to keep us going, although we felt great. Anyway, uh, she was fine. She was at the emergency for about a half an hour and I told her it would go down and it did subside, so she came home. But when she was here, she was a little bit tired because she had taken a Benadryl and uh, so she just left. Anyway, a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, Mamas were talking about emergency, Benadryl and all that. At one point, I don't know if I told you in one of my videos that I had a stuffy nose for so long, and it's a long story how that ended up, but I had gone to a, first of all, a plastic surgeon and was asking him, do you think if I have uh, the DDA septum fix that that will go away? Well, he kind of looked at me like this and that told me no, so I didn't have it done. In the meantime, my nose was driving me crazy, so I decided to go to an ear, nose, and throat specialist instead. And he gave me these drops. I just love him. He gave me these drops. Oh, shoot, I got the cover. Oh. Uh, and what you do is you just take this little thing off, and you can pump it. And I'm telling you, this was like 
a miracle drug for me because it's almost like the next day my nose is totally cleared up. Well, I find out that I have a minor infection in there. And so, you know what to take if you're ever having those same kind of symptoms where your nose will not clear up. And another thing, uh, oh, when my sister went to the emergency, I pulled out my anointing, uh, well, actually this is holy water. And I put a little on my finger and I went, protect us both, Lord. Did my forehead and my heart. Probably should have drank some to protect my mouth too because sometimes some of the stuff comes out of it is kind of crazy and nonsense. But anyway, that's who I am. Okay, next. Now, uh, you know, I told you I use a little toothbrush when I brush my teeth, a little baby one. But I also love these little uh, covers that cover the toothbrush. Now, I know some of you gals probably leave your toothbrush in a glass on the sink. That's when you really should have your teeth covered because you don't know what's flying in the air, especially if you have the bathroom door open and you've just flushed. <laughs> anyway, I love those. What else? Uh, when I uh, sharpen my eyebrow pencil or my lipstick, I use two different sharpeners because one is for the lipstick. Sometimes I don't get it all out of there with a Q-tip or whatever, and the other one is for my eyebrow pencils. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, another thing, you know, I've got these two rouge. This one's almost gone, and then the other one that I showed you a couple of days ago from Physicians Formula. And I just, just want to remind you that when you put the brush in there, don't put it on the powder side, put it on the back. And if you're going to put two together, put the backs together and the brushes facing out. It's just, you know, keeps everything a little bit cleaner. And what else? Well, this is kind of an oddball thing, but you know when I uh, had my smaller Christmas tree, well, I still have it, but I didn't use it this last Christmas. Didn't have any place to put my bulbs. So I saved a couple of my A cartons, and it works just great. That's that. Now, you'll be proud of me because I took off all my mascara two nights in a row. Yes, I did. <laughs> ah. Now, I've seen some girls how they take their mascara off and they go, oh, and it is all over the place. Well, I don't do it that way and I never have. My little brain, no. I did graduate from high school, and I don't have a college degree, obviously. But to rub my eyes like that, oh my God, I think I would have had big bags. But anyway, uh, I clean my face like I always do. And um, I'll use baby oil one night and ponds the second night, just to see if one would work quicker than the other. And they were actually both almost the same, because don't forget, I have the waterproof makeup on over my regular mascara. So what I did was, uh, with the baby wipe, now don't use the flushable baby wipes because they fall apart. That's what they're supposed to do when you flush them. But if you just buy the regular baby wipes, any kind, you know, they're bigger first of all, and they're nice and sturdy. So I rinse it off first, a clean baby wipe, and I put the baby wipe under my eyelash and I go, back and forth. I go up and I go back and forth and up and back and forth and up. Take some off of the top, rinse it out, do it again. And it took me three times to do it that way. But I didn't have all the mess down here and uh, even if I want to do the bottom, I just go back and forth on the eyelash. No that circle stuff for me. Okay. I also wanted to say that, you know, when I <clears throat> return your messages, uh, I type really fast, but I only use one finger. <laughs> and I've been wondering, should I have that finger insured? Because <laughs> if I lose that finger, or it cramps up, or I end up with arthritis, I'm going to have to learn how to type with the other fingers. And I don't have time for that. 
So, if I leave out a word or I leave out a letter, it's because I'm going too fast, number one, and uh, I'm only using one finger. So there you have it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what else have I got here? I got a little thing of notes here so I don't forget anything. Because what I have to say, <laughs> inquiring minds want to know about. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Since I'm in the bathroom, I'll mention the toilet seats. I buy the kind that go down very quietly. It's really nice. Now, if you have a bunch of kids, I don't know if the kids would try to close it when it's not ready to be closed. But uh, for a house full of adults, it's fantastic. My daughter had one of those. And so I started using them years ago. And, oh. Uh, That's probably just about all I have to say today. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, it's time to say goodbye. But, I got a little bit of a song that I'm going to share with you. Hold on. Keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. For sure, that's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be at your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. That's what friends are for. No matter how long you're apart, you can always start where you left off with a friend, right? Okay. So, until next time, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Aloha, aloha, wax. Yes, <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> and until we talk uh, soon again, I hope. Take care of somebody. <laughs> what can I say? I think I've said it all. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Adios.